U.S. President Donald Trump once again emphasized the need to renegotiate Washington's free trade deal with Seoul. With the Oval Office choosing a protectionist trade representative, such talks may be held soon. Hwang Wojun has the full story. U.S. President Donald Trump once again strongly voiced his desire to renegotiate the Korea-U.S. free trade agreement. During an interview with The Economist on Thursday local time, Trump called the Korea-U.S. FTA a horrible deal that was made by Hillary Clinton. Trump also said Seoul has been informed of his intent to renegotiate the deal and that he wants fair terms. However, Korea's trade ministry said they received no official notice from the U.S. government regarding such talks. Back over in Washington, President Trump now has a frontman to convey his trade policies after the U.S. Senate confirmed his nominee to serve as U.S. trade representative. Robert Lighthizer has become Washington's top trade negotiator after the Senate voted 82 to 14 in favor of his nomination. He previously served as a deputy U.S. trade representative under the Ronald Reagan administration and is known for his protectionist views. Lighthizer will likely pave the way to reopen discussion on renegotiating the Korea-U.S. FTA and the North American Free Trade Agreement, or NAFTA. Experts say the renegotiation talk is more than just rhetoric, but they don't expect it to happen right away. This isn't the first time for the U.S. making it clear that they want to renegotiate the trade deal, so they will probably demand for a renegotiation. Trump also gave an executive order to examine and create a report on all trade deals, including the FTA with Korea, by September. So instead of hastily putting out our own stance, it's imperative for us to prepare ourselves during that time and put out the best hand we have when they ask us then, according to the result of that report. Not to mention, President Trump is also required to trigger a 90-day consultative period with Congress before any renegotiations can take place. Hwang Wojun, Arirang News.